Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm actually we're back in a 1.17 survival world, and today we are playing a Origins mod where we basically can choose a different uh, category, and we get benefits uh, or nerfs and buffs to our actual gameplay. And today we're going to try and find a diamond inside a cave while being the warden. I quickly just want to interrupt this video to say, if you do enjoy this video, do leave a like and subscribe as it does really help the channel. Only like 94 uh, or 94% of you guys who actually watch my videos are not actually subscribed. So that is a very high percentage, only like 6% are. The exact number will be on screen. And also, I am partnered with Winternode once again. If you do want a Minecraft server, you can go to the link in the description. It is uh, under Winternode. And you can get 25% off using code BELGI, B-E-L-G-I-E. -E. That 25% off is for your first month when actually buying a Minecraft service from Winternode. Do check them out as they are really good at server host. The actual uh, viewer, SMP that I'm running at the moment, is actually run by them. That is the interruption ended and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So, the, your Warden character has certain traits. Uh, we are strong, we have one more heart, and you're also immune to weakness effects. We have a powerful scream, you are so scary that your scream wakens and blinds creatures around you. We have no shields, you don't understand how shields work, so I can't use shields. I don't normally use one anyway. And in an echo location, you cannot see while in open areas. Okay, so this is quite hard, I think. So let's quickly pick the warden and there we go i'm blind while in open areas so i guess a cave is the best thing to actually go inside of okay so i just had to quickly restart the game just because uh sounds weren't working properly so what i now want to try and figure out it is i think it's a block above your head yeah because every time i go and put a, like go under blocks i get the darkness every time i go so does water blocks count as blocks above your head they do so okay i can just swim along the water and just like sit like this basically and we should be able to see pretty fine okay so this isn't actually that hard i thought the darkness uh, or blindness would have been a bit difficult i am gonna have to go out the water for a second though just to get my bubbles back and what else was our other traits i don't know if we can research them i know we can't use shields we have one extra heart and I think we blind mobs when we are near them. Okay, this world seems pretty much all islands. Uh, at least all around spawn. Let's quickly go back underwater so we don't get the effect. But I'm just like swimming around it. It seems like just like loads of tiny little islands surrounded by ocean. So I'm hoping in a few seconds or soon, I will be able to find something that is an ocean and a actual, uh, what's it called, like main island where we can go caving. Although I did see... Uh, Okay, I don't know why the blindness went for a second there. Okay, so it seems like the blindness is kind of bugged. Or unless it do it's not just a block above your head, it might be like blocks around you or something. But let's quickly just head into this shipwreck. Okay, I've just made a big axe as well, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a chest right there. And okay, that's got some wheat and also some quite good leather armor. So that is also going to help us. I think it's, should there be more chests? I don't, I still to this day can't like exactly position all chests inside of shipwrecks. It just depends on how the shipwreck actually generates, depending on if a chest generates as well, as it could be cut off by obviously generation. So let's quickly just do that. And now let's head out here. And I think there might be another chest uh, here, but actually it seems like it has been cut off. Okay, I still haven't found any land. I can only find oceans and there's a guardian temple right there. So I'm just going to like keep swimming, I guess, until we find something that we can like find a cave on. Uh, I have also got, I haven't found anything else. I found like there's once again another little island there, but nothing else. It is literally just islands. It's always my luck when I do these videos. I ne either A, never get trees. Or I never get enough land to actually go into caves and stuff like that. I am also just going to quickly mention, I know there is probably going to be some people thinking, why don't I just dig down on side, inside of one of the islands I find. That is mainly just because then around us, we're going to have mainly water caves. And I don't want that. Uh, because obviously swimming around in a water cave 
will not be fun and we wouldn't be able to do it anyway due to us uh, being close to drowning so digging down on a little island mostly will mean that we have water caves around us so i don't want to do that and i think we have now found a decent bit of land unless this is just a little bit of a bigger island the best thing to do in these is try and get like underneath leaves so let's really just build up here and there we go so if i just like get under the leaves that does then give us the um it, it takes away the blindness so i'm just trying to see what is around us looks like there's a cave over there uh there's a zombie over there as it's getting night time let's quickly just head over this way i think i'm gonna head towards that cave okay i need to get some wool and make a bed real quick so i've located some sheep they should be around here Yes, here's some sheep. So let's quickly just get three pieces of wool and then we can make a bed and sleep. Just because with this blindness, I don't want to be walking around of a night time. Especially with creepers that could sneak up on us. Anything could sneak up on us. So let's quickly just make a crafting table. And now let's quickly just make a bed. And now we should be able to sleep. Yep, there we go. I hear a zombie. Let's see if we can actually quit sleep in time before the zombie does wake us up. And it seems like we was, yes, we was able to because the zombie is now burning. So let's get rid of you. There we go. We actually managed to do that. I didn't think we would. And while we are here, we can quickly make a stone pickaxe. And let's also make a stone sword. Every now and again, I just keep building little pillars going up just so I can get under them and see where I am. Okay, there is a village right there. So yeah, I just keep doing this. Every now and again, I just build up two blocks and then place a block on the third and just get under it. Just so I can see. Once we go into a cave it shouldn't be a problem. Because then blocks are always above our heads. But I just want to head to this village. As this village could be really useful. In food wise. And I don't know where I am. This spider better not attack me. It has no reason to attack me. It is daytime. Okay. A creeper just blew up. I actually had blindness at the time of it blowing up. So I didn't see it blow up. And it did remove quite a lot of the hay bales. I was actually going to use for food. But we still have some. So we should still be good. And I now need to heal because obviously as you can see by my health, I haven't got much. So let's quickly just eat food. There's nothing in that house. I'm just like looking through to see if there's anything in chests that I can take uh, that would help us. So once we've picked up these, I can see a cave over there. I don't know if it's actually going to be a decent cave or if it's just going to be a uh, dead end. But I guess we can head to it because it is like under a lot of leaves and trees. So we should have blindness pretty much the whole time heading over there. Apart from maybe this little area right here. But then we can jump straight up under the tree leaves. And get into this cave. And it is a actual cave. I have also turned my gamma back down. Um, inside of the video settings. Let me know. Do you guys want me to turn it back up. So it's a lot brighter in videos. Or do you guys like that it's actually. It's darker. So there's more of an atmosphere to the game. I like it. Uh, being darker just because it builds and that looks so much better when they actually have lighting and mood uh, with them obviously with the brightness turned all the way up everything's just bright and there's no uh, different like t uh, light levels or anything that is visible so I like it being up but once again videos can be very dark okay it was a normal cave I don't think there's a mine shaft nearby but let's quickly just grab that iron as that would be really helpful and then we can maybe light up the rest. There's a bit more iron right there. There's some coal up there. But I think I have enough coal. Okay no let's actually maybe grab a little bit more. Because we are going to need probably a few more torches as well. As smelting at the iron we actually get. Okay I can actually view my origin as you can see right here. I can yeah I can view it just to see the buffs, the, uh, the buffs and the nerfs. But I'm pretty sure if I really just go back to controls. I can active active power, primary is G, and then secondary is J. Okay. So that just, like, lets off a... Uh, okay, there's flashing. That lets off a uh, cloud of thingy, and does J do anything? No. Okay, and that is what that timer's down there for. It's a cooldown between uses. So I don't know if that's actually useful in this sense, because I don't actually think mobs with blindness matters. I think they still pathfind to you. So yeah, I don't think that matters in mob wise, but if you're playing like PvP or something, that could be useful because you could blind the players trying to attack you. Okay, here is the spider I found. So let's quickly just run around here 
and see what we can actually find. Is it a dead end? Uh, it seems like it does actually still go down, which is pretty cool. I don't know why there's like lag spikes every time I place a block. Okay, we're on to deep slate level, which could mean that we actually can find diamonds. So before we jump down there, there's quite a few mobs down there. We're actually going to quickly make a furnace. There's a lot of mobs over in that sort of area, so I want to try and avoid that. And is that diamonds I can see right there? I think that is diamonds that I can see. I'm not too sure. It might be glow lichen. No, I, I, think that, I think that is actually diamonds. So let's quickly just grab this. We are also going to have to be careful, obviously, because of the mobs. If we do die, then we lose. So let's quickly just do that. There we go. And we can't make a shield, so I'm just going to have blocks in my inventory just so I can, like, block blocks with them. Block uh, damage with blocks, not block blocks with blocks. Oh, God, that was a lot of blocks. The hardest here is going to be skeleton damage because, obviously, they're ranged. There's not much I can do about them. So I can obviously, like, block uh, creepers and that. So maybe if I do something like this, just build that up so they can't get to me. And I can just sit there hitting them from up here. Although I think that creeper might explode. Yes, it did. Uh, it didn't damage us, which was good. So let's maybe head this way first. I know there might there is diamonds that way. But I don't want to head that way if I don't have to. Okay, I just took out one skeleton. And now I'm being spammed by like two to three more. So I just quickly need to build out of here. And just block myself a second just so I can heal. Uh, I don't know why there's lag when I actually place torches. I think there's something to do with the actual light level being updated. It just lag spikes the game. So let's maybe just quickly head down here and take you out. And okay, I didn't realize there was another skeleton. I thought it was fighting a zombie. But we've took you out as well. Let's take you out. And let's now place water there. Uh, not water torches. And this was a diamond. Okay, so we've actually found a diamond. Let's quickly just pick it up. And is it only the one? I don't think it should be. Uh, it seems like it is. Okay, we only need the one. The challenge is actually now complete. Okay, so that is this video done. We completed it. We completed the game as a warden. And it was actually impact of medium. Uh, it seems a lot easier than I thought it would have been. I thought the actual uh, blindness when in open areas would have actually been a lot worse. But I think the fact that you could just have one block above your head meant that it was good i thought you'd have to have like blocks to the side of you as well so if you did enjoy leave a like and subscribe and i guess i will see you guys in another video very soon once again i will show you stats just for anyone who do does want to read them um pause the video and read them real quick we did actually get number of deaths zero we didn't die at all which is good uh items you can just quickly see the items that we've actually done uh picked up mine dropped and all that and then mobs, we didn't actually uh, kill many mobs either. So once again, if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in another video very soon. I completed the game as a warden. Wait, or not completed the game. Completed the challenge I set myself as a warden, which is pretty cool. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.